Well, the guys, in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create an AI agent in Relevance AI. Okay, right. I'm going to get myself out of the way and I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible because we don't want to be here all day. And I'm going to leave all of the template for what we're using underneath this video. So let's understand quickly what Relevance AI is. It's a no code slash low code platform. Uh, it allows you to build tools, basically functions. Uh, it allows you to upload data uh, and it allows you to create agents from those uh, things. So tools and data. So if you're not new, if you're new to AI agents, they're essentially just a chatbot that can use different functions and or tools and can use custom knowledge, basically. So think of them as GPTs, but a lot better when you're outside of that GPT environment. So we're going to start with going over some tools now. When you're in relevance, they give you a lot of templates, but you're going to need to create your own tools. Now I'm not going to go over that in this video as much. I'll, I'll give a link underneath the video to the tools that I use, but to go through and build out all of these tools now, it will just take too long. So I'll show you what's in them. Uh, and then I'll show you how we build out the agent and then converse with it to get out the output. So in this example, we're going to build out an agent that creates a LinkedIn post for us. It will give us ideas of LinkedIn posts and it will then write the post for us. Well, at least a very good advanced draft. So we're going to use this tool that I built, which is a content copilot. I'm on version four of this now. So if we just have a look at this, so this is a tool. Okay. So this isn't an agent and you can use this on its own. Um, so we have in here knowledge. So we've got, uh, LinkedIn examples from various people that write good LinkedIn content. Uh, hooks explained. So this is a lot of example hooks and actually information on what a hook is and why it works so well. And then I've got my own tone of voice in here as well. So I've taken a load of text, emails, posts that I've written. And I've had AI analyze it to put it into a tone of voice, basically. So that's all in there. And then we have our idea, which would be an imp. And then we have our prompt for the LLM. Again, I'll put this in here. But as you can see here, we're using uh, the prompt and then using the actual custom data with inside the prompt as a variable. So that's really important to note because we're not just using the LLM here. So we're going to go with Claude three Opus, uh, because it's better for content writing in my opinion. So that's the tool. Again, I'm not going to go through like that whole prompt and everything, uh, but I will link it in the description below. So we're also going to use this, uh, top of funnel content ideas tool. I've literally just built out a version two of this. So the input is business details, and then it goes on to use the business details to do a Google search on it, and then it puts that into a, a prompt where it uses the business details. And then the Google people also ask, uh, output from the Google search. So it comes out with some really, really good ideas just using this tool on its own. Uh, but we're going to put it into the agent so we can kind of combine these two functions and have, uh, the whole post written up for us. So. They're the two tools we're going to use in this one. You can stack tools and tools on top of each other all day, uh, and build up very, very complex agents. Uh, again, I do just want to create this as a short video with relevance because there's a lot more advanced platforms. I use this for prototyping and making videos with, uh, if you, I will be creating some more videos on things like crew AI and more custom solutions. Uh, but this is very beginner friendly and yeah, you can get started with it. I mean, the deployment from relevance isn't very good, but that's what you get when using a no, no code platform. So let's jump in and create a new agent. Uh, now it's important to note that the pricing on relevance is a bit weird. So you have tokens, but if you use your own API keys, then you don't really use those tokens as much. Um, the starter plan is great. It's $20 a month. And to be honest, I've, I only really use the tools on here. I don't use the agents. So I build agents outside of relevance. Uh, but then when you start going into business where you can have, uh, teams of agents like crew AI, which is open source and free, uh, and not, not very hard to use. So I'm definitely making going to make a tutorial on that, uh, next, but, uh, yeah, you start getting into the $600 a month and yeah, not going to be paying for that when you can use open source, uh, code. So anyway, it's going to be $20 a month. So it's good if you're just playing around and want to create a prototype or whatever. So let's create new agent. And we are going to call it, uh, Molly. And then 
description. Researchers and right LinkedIn content. Put pipe here and just put content team. Although it does tag that in here. So we're going to put the model as TPT4 Turbo. And then we're going to have the base instructions. And they usually give you a little template on here, but uh, you, this is a really basic assistance template, but you are a helpful assistant that uses. Okay, super basic. Um, welcome message. Here's your idea. Okay, now we've got that done. We have up here, uh, can. Okay, so yeah, you have to upgrade. So the weird pricing bit in this is the fact that to start using like the AI workforce feature uh, or to upgrade in to like schedule future messages. You don't go up from the starter plan to the team plan. You have to go to the business plan, which is ridiculous. Again, it's just another no code platform that, uh, they, they kind of got it right with this $20 pro plan, but then they start falling apart when they start having these stupid $600 plans a month, because when businesses are going to pay for these things, they can hire somebody like us who can build it for them, uh, without using this. And it's going to cost a lot less than $600 a month when you spend that over a year or two years. So they get their price modeling completely wrong, but that's not my decision. But. So, uh, can suggest replies. Yes. Um, you can label tasks, uh, but we'll leave that blank for now. And then instructions for naming tasks. This doesn't really work. So we tell you on this very well, but let's go ahead and add the tools. So we'll add this one and this one. Okay. I'm not going to add in a Google search tool only because this tool already has that in there. Okay. This is the first time I built this agent with these two tools. So let's hope it goes well. Okay. Right. Okay. What is your idea? So we're going to say now we have to understand these tools as well. So documentation or just a brief description about the tools that you're, you're actually using within your agent is extremely helpful. Uh, because they're expecting input. So what I'm going to say here is, uh, Hey Molly, I have a business idea about creating, uh, an AI agent agency. Can you provide me with some ideas? Okay. So we should invoke this tool now. I'm hoping everything goes right. Yep. So it's invoked this tool, uh, top of final content ideas v2. Then we should get a load of ideas now. Okay. Okay, so it's given us ideas at the problem unaware stage. So people that are problem unaware, people that are aware of their problem, combined educational and thought leadership ideas, engagement and interaction ideas, and storytelling and user generated content. Um, okay, so let's have a look at these. Is your business running efficiently? Okay, maybe not the top real problem unaware stage ones, but let's have a look at the problem aware stage. You've identified a problem, now what? How can AI offer a solution? Aware of the challenges in your business, let's talk about AI solutions. Problem spotted, how can AI transform challenges into opportunities? Okay. Let's just go with that. Okay. So we have invoked the LinkedIn content pilot, code pilot. Okay. What's Molly got for us? 
The challenges posed by AI are often overstated. The reality is that AI presents a wealth of opportunities for businesses and, biz and individuals alike. By strategically, strategically leveraging AI technologies, we can transform difficult problems into exciting possibilities. For example, AI powered automation can streamline complex processes, freeing up valuable time and resources that can be redirected towards innovation and growth. Moreover, AI's ability to analyze vast amounts of data can uncover hidden insights and patterns, enabling organizations to make better informed decisions and stay ahead of the competition. The key is to approach AI with a positive mindset, focusing on how it can uh, complement and enhance human capabilities rather than replace them. By doing so, we can harness the power of AI to drive meaningful progress and create a brighter future for all. What are your thoughts on AI, AI on how AI can turn challenges into opportunity? I'd love to hear your perspective in the comments below. Okay, so it's written an okay post. Now, that wasn't really a very good idea that I gave it. Problem spotted how AI, how AI can transform challenges into opportunities. But it's got the writing style right. Um, I mean, this is how I write on LinkedIn. Uh, I've given it a lot of examples within this tool and it has given us an okay hook here. And again, this is obviously a really widely covered, broad LinkedIn post, so it doesn't seem amazing. But the point here is that we have a centralized place now where a content team can go into or somebody on your team can now go into, use this tool and bang out a load of drafts basically so if they were to take every single every single one of these so 50 ideas and then get all 50 of those posts and then edit them slightly i mean some of them you have to add on a little bit it, it, it is an advanced draft a lot of them you can just copy and paste and post it uh it really depends so to be totally honest with something like this as it's so broad i would copy and paste this into a post i wouldn't personally use it as a post uh, but I'm just doing this for demonstration uh, purposes. So advantages of this are your content team now will have, or somebody, whoever's creating your content now just has like a centralized work desk place where they can go and just create content that isn't just using chat TPT, uh, that's using data that you've already compiled, put together and can just churn out content like crazy. Now you can go a lot further than this. And that's when we start looking at things like crew AI. So this is where we have multiple of these agents like this. We'd like, we just created in relevant. We will have multiple agents, which will have in this example, a senior researcher, a writer, and then they will have specific tasks and they will work round the clock together and essentially create whatever you want. So that's when you get more into the advanced usage of agents. Uh, Relevance is just a really nice, friendly platform for anybody to use and kind of, as I said, prototype on. Uh, I much prefer the tools part of it, to be totally honest, simply because they've throttled the agent section of it. And doing that just makes me just use tools and then use the tools in other pieces of software. So, uh, yeah. So. That's it for Relevance AI. I'll make a few more tutorials on it and d dive a little bit deeper into the tools because in my opinion, that is the most powerful thing uh, on this platform, to be totally honest, uh, tools and data. The agent side of things, as I said, it, it, it's good if you want to pay $600 a month, which in my opinion is pointless because you can have somebody build out a whole crew for you and maintain it. And as I said, when you have, when you, when you put that, cost of $600 a month over the lifetime of uh, hiring somebody to build this up for you using a much better system, uh, yeah, it's going to be much cheaper or well, it's going to be cheaper anyway. And you're going to have a lot more functionality and a lot more personalization. So again, yeah, it, it's something I'm just seeing with a lot of no-code platforms. They, they don't really have their pricing, price modeling done well. Uh, Relevance has done a great job in providing the $20 uh subscription because you can just create unlimited tools and as i said you can use these tools as standalone tools or you can deploy them and get them out of relevance and use them in better software so anyway that's it for me and as i said i'll create more videos on the tools because i think people are going to be more interested in those but let me know in the comments if you are and i'll start making some more detailed tutorials on things like crew ai and autogen because that's just the rabbit hole I've been going down at the moment. And they are ridiculous when you get them working really well and a very specific task. It's insane. So uh, that'll be a lot longer. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.